Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to lay a background down without having to use the 3D options. Uh, let's see, so to give you an, an idea of what I'm going to do, I've got a comp here, and I'll just take one second to render out. Okay, so you can see the background here is laying down, and it's faded out a little bit. Um, this is just kind of a little quick trick to not have to mess with 3D if you don't want to do that. And let's let it render out here. And there it goes. We've got our logo. And it shoots towards you. Okay. So to get started, I'm going to close that. We're going to use electricity, tan. Drop that into a comp. And first I want to change the color. So I'm going to just type hue for hue saturation over. Change it to get a blue and okay now we need to lay it down so to do that I'm going to use corner pin alright so we've got four different options basically the four corners of the composition and I can just grab those pull it down pull that one down and to get these two exactly aligned up so that they're not on a curve. I can just come up to the upper right and change it to the same as 320 as the upper left. So 324. And now they're perfectly aligned. Now with these, all I want to do is just pull them straight out. Okay, and there we go. We've got them. You can see the perspective. If you look, you can kind of see some lines here. The perspective is looking more like 3D. And pull those out quite a bit. I think I'm going to drop these down even more. Make sure those are right. Oh, the 402, good guess. All right, so we're ready to go. It still doesn't quite look real though. Um, what we need to do is we need to blur this out because as things get away, obviously they kind of can fade out. So this gets a little tricky. Um, I'm going to use a mask. But the trick about this is you would expect to just put that mask down here. But the mask is reading basically before the corner pin. So you need to put this mask clear up at the top. And I need to change it to subtract. See that? Basically, if corner pin weren't affected, that's what it's doing. So that might be easier for you to do to, to make this mask before the corner pin is applied. So I'm going to drop down the attributes and increase the feather, feathered edge. And then we put corner pin back, and there we go. We've got a nice feathered edge. Uh, so I want to increase it a little more. Double select that. Or double click to select, drop down, and there we go. We've got our nice blurred out 3D background. Now I can pull in the logo. And with all AI Illustrator graphics, you want to hit that to make sure it's using the best quality. And Change my anchor point. Okay, we've got our 3D logo. Let's see it. Not animated, but there we go. <clears throat> now, another way to fake 3D with this motion logo is to use the scale, set a keyframe, and then let's go down. It's actually a big comp. Uh, let's adjust my comp. Okay, let's have that slowly creeping forward toward us with the scale. See? We're just going to ease into that. Okay, so we fake 3D with both the background layer and the uh, our icon or our logo. 
Of course, both of these could be done with the 3D layers, but this is just a way to kind of cheat that and in some ways do it quicker. There we go.